One day, Father Candido was too sick to perform a session, so Gabriele had to take the lead. His first exorcism was a young 14-year-old girl who had participated in a satanic ritual with her friends, and only after one easy session, Father Amort was able to drive out the demon. From this first solo experience, he learned that timing was crucial, and he believed that if the signs of possession were caught fast enough, the demons wouldn't have time to take root or burrow inside the victim. But this was rare, because most of their patients were only taken to Candido and Gabriele after suffering for months. So they pressured themselves to perform the exorcisms as fast as they could. And now that Candido was getting sicker, Gabriele had to take the lead. With each session, he grew more confident. After years of training Gabriele, Father Candido died in 1992. So Gabriele became his successor as the Vatican's chief exorcist. And this would be his role for more than three decades. Soon, he was seeing about 300 cases a year. And this ended up being about 70,000 exorcism sessions throughout his entire career. He also worked every Easter, Christmas, and even on his birthday. 